Okay, so we had a look at our vertically projected object. Now we're going to have a look at a vertically projected object that bounces after it reaches the ground again. In other words, it doesn't fall further from the ground, but actually starts bouncing. Now, what do we know about vertically projected object? Well, for one thing, I want you to understand that it's only going up or down. Even though this picture looks like a ball bouncing along in a straight line horizontally as well, um, it actually just illustrates after um, every moment where is it in the air. Okay, so it's not traveling horizontally. Each frame is simply just how far it is above uh, the ground. Okay, so don't think of this as traveling horizontally. Rather, each picture should be viewed individually. Okay, but with that in mind, what do we know? Well, we know that the initial velocity is not equal to zero. So the initial velocity is equal to some velocity, whatever that is. Then we know that at its highest point here, future velocity will be equal to zero. Okay, that would also be its maximum. Then it starts falling back down and now it follows the exact same path and uh, pattern but just in the opposite direction so that when it reaches the ground again that future velocity will be equal to the initial velocity but in the negative direction. Okay, so it will be negative that. Then if you imagine now a bouncing object then the thing starts bouncing back up. So we have something uh, going up, falling down, straight down remember, bouncing back up but not going as high okay as some of the momentum is lost and coming back down and going up high coming down going up and that just repeating itself I hope that sketch makes it a little bit clear that everything happens actually on one spot now as that happens um, what's happening to velocity what's happening to displacement what's happening to acceleration well of course acceleration stays a beautiful constant negative 10 so wherever and now obviously we're assuming that upwards is positive okay so upwards is positive I'm just going to write it out briefly like that which means that acceleration will be a constant negative 10 okay acceleration does not change because the whole time gravity is the same so wherever negative 10 is let's just assume it is there I'll use a color you can actually see okay so let's see negative oh, oh not like you can see that one Try this one. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Negative 10. There you will have your constant line for as long as this thing is bouncing. Okay, at negative 10. Let's say whatever that time is, for as long as it's uh, being observed, that's what we are going to do. Now for velocity. Okay, so we had an initial velocity. Whatever this initial velocity is, okay, there's the initial velocity. And then every second it loses 10 meters per second. So after one second it's there. Then after another second it's going to be there. Then after another second it's reached its maximum height. Okay, as you can see because now velocity is equal to zero on this line. Okay, then it goes in the opposite direction. In other words, it starts falling back to the, to the ground and it's going to take the same time it went up is the time it's going to go down. So it took one, two, three seconds to go up, so one, two, three seconds to go down. Now that it reaches the bottom, okay, and you can look at these arrows, these arrows represent the velocity. You see initially the velocity is a bit large, then it becomes smaller, and then it's zero. Then it becomes a little bit bigger, but in the opposite direction, and then it's the same size as that one, but in the opposite direction. So that's what's happening here. It is now this velocity here is the same as the velocity there but in with a negative sign so that means it's in the opposite direction but now it bounces back up so now you notice from from having a velocity downwards all of a sudden it has an, a velocity upwards but not quite as large as that velocity so let's say it's upward velocity all of a sudden is positive again and let's say it's it's there little bit less than what it used to be okay but now it's there and it's going upwards but it's losing velocity so every second so now it only takes two seconds for example to reach its maximum height so it's going to take two seconds to fall back down to earth okay and here you notice that we have straight lines and the straight line goes down until it reaches its 
um, at the bottom again and then all of a sudden it shoots up which means our acceleration is now um, uh, upwards and therefore positive sorry not acceleration is upwards velocity is upwards and therefore positive and there and now let's say it shoots up again and now it only goes up to this velocity okay you see again it loses some momentum it takes only one second to reach the ground which means it's going to take only one uh, sorry to reach its maximum height and one second to reach the ground again so here's what the velocity graph would look um, like if we only did three bounces okay, obviously it will go uh, on more but we are only going to just consider three bounces here how about the displacement well the displacement we know is a parabola shape so let's say its maximum height will follow this exact exact pattern that we have here so we will reach our maximum height after three seconds and we will um, and let's say maximum height is there we, we're not concerned about the values at this time just the, um, the shape and it will reach the ground again at the same velocity but downwards so here it will be back on the ground in other words displacement will be equal to zero when it's on this line okay so it's going to go up come down and reach it the ground again okay for this second second bounce we reach our maximum height here let's say our maximum height is about there okay as I say we're only looking at the shape not necessarily the values and we're back at the ground again here so here you see we have what almost looks like a bouncing object almost looks like the path of a bouncing object losing height and for the last part we reach our maximum height let's say about there going up coming down there's our parabolas so these will be three different parabolas why would they be different well each parabola is described by the function uh, the displacement is equal to initial velocity plus a uh, times time plus a half times acceleration times t squared okay so why do we have three different ones because remember for each three the initial velocity is different this one's initial velocity the first bounce initial velocity is quite high okay while the second bounce his initial velocity will be a little bit less and the third bounce will again be a little bit less so this is an example of uh, a bouncing object and what the graphs would look like i don't think it's very difficult i think you can figure it out quite easily and i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one